It is truly an honor to be here with you on this special day. Your hours, days, weeks, months, and even years of hard work have now paid off as you are honored here today. Achieving your associate's degree or certificate here at Tidewater Community College opens up the world to you. Your achievements put you on a solid path to do what you want to do with the rest of your life. As a high school science teacher, for the past 25 years, uh, as I'm sorry, as a high school science teacher, for the past um, graduations have been one of the highlights of my, you know, oh, sorry. beep, I gotta start over. <laughs> Here we go. As a high school science teacher, graduations have been a highlight, that's where I was headed with this, for each year of my life for the past 25 years. Today, as I look at it, your wonderful, happy faces, I can tell you without hesitation, it is much different experience this time being up here. I am, however, accustomed to cheering on my seniors as when they graduate, signing their yearbooks, and wishing them well. Having taught all around the state, from Southwest Virginia to Chesterfield to, to Virginia Beach, reconnecting with my students when I see them years after I have, they have graduated is one of the highlights of the teaching that I so appreciate. One question I ask my students as they graduate is, what are you going to do with the rest of your life? There are a variety of responses. This question from go to college, work the summer, then figure it out, to work with your mom or dad, or start a job in a trade that I learned in high school. But at some point, each one of you answered that question when you decided to enroll in Tidewater Community College. I believe your choice was wise one, and I speak from experience. I graduated from VCU University and have my master's degree from the University of Virginia. I have also taken quite a few courses at community colleges in Northern Virginia, Southwest Virginia, and of course here at TCC. The courses I took were challenging and provided me with the knowledge and training that I needed. While in Northern Virginia, I attended a fine arts class on um, music appreciation, where I learned to do the baton of a conductor of an orchestra. While living in Van Sant, Virginia in Southwest, I thought I would change my career and I decided to take microbiology and organic chemistry. And then here at TCC, I took classes in soil chemistry and groundwater to help me maintain my teaching license. After all, Henry Ford once said, anyone who stops learning is old, whether you're 20 or 80. Anyone who keeps learning stays young. The greatest thing in life is to keep your mind young. No matter your age, I see nothing but young minds when I look out into this crowd. Over the past few days, teachers across the country have been recognized during National Teacher Appreciation Week. As a teacher, I can tell you that the recognition means a lot to us. So graduates, how about a nice round of applause for the faculty and staff here at Tidewater Community College. As a military child, teachers were the one constants in my life. From Fort Leavenworth, Kansas, to Fort Gordon, Georgia, to Fort Belvoir, Virginia, as I went from state to state, school to school, teachers made me feel welcomed in my new surroundings. I have never gotten that feeling when a teacher takes the time to realize that I was new and to help me acclimate with the other students. Everyone has a favorite teacher. Mine was Mr. Scott. I had just moved to Virginia. He taught us using learning stations. So we were moving around constantly. You would move from English to reading to math, and I got stuck at the science lab table a lot because that's kind of what I like to do. And my favorite memory of Mr. Scott's class was sitting there taking apart a battery. You, know, you pop off the top and you look at all the goop on the inside, and I'm gonna say it, that really sparked my interest in science. Thank you. <laughs> uh, 
I want you to think about your favorite teacher. Think about what you would want to say to them. If you could send them a message through Facebook, Twitter, or whatever social media you think your teacher might have, I can tell you right now, it would mean a lot to them. I went into education because I wanted to be the teacher who helped students succeed. I wanted to be the teacher who reached out to students who were new or struggling and tried to give them a hand. If a career in education is your passion, I encourage you to follow it. Try to do everything you can to fulfill your passions with your career. Don't be afraid to dream big. If you love what you do, you'll never have to work a day in your life. After more than 25 years as a teacher, I decided I had more to give to my community and to education. I'm very passionate about what was going on in our commonwealth and in the country, so I ran for the Virginia House of Delegates. I figured, who better to represent the people's government than a teacher? And it turns out there are plenty of people who agreed with me. So I am here today as Delegate Cheryl B. Turpin, representing over 80,000 people in the 85th District in the Virginia House of Delegates. I simply took a step off the sideline and decided to be a player in the game. Throughout the campaign and after the election, there were many occurrences that can only be described as moments of magic. My favorite moment of magic occurred my very first trip to Richmond as delegate-elect. I was there to attend the new delegate training, but I really had no idea where I was going. The General Assembly building was being torn down, and I was walking down the sidewalk, and I approached a state trooper, and I simply tapped him on the shoulder, and I said, hi, I'm delegate-elect Cheryl, and before I could finish my statement, he says to me, oh my God, Mrs. Turpin? I was like, I knew his face. I couldn't quite place the name, and I said to him, I'm gonna say Clover Hill High School 22 years ago. And he said, yes, I'm Jamie Smith. And you helped me get through earth science, and I couldn't have done it without you. After we chatted a moment, I asked him where the Pocahontas building was, which, he, which was where the orientation was being held. He told me it would be an honor to escort me. He took me by the elbow, and we walked down the street, and he took me to the Pocahontas building. I was nervous but excited about what lay ahead in store as I was sworn in and took my seat in the House of Delegates. There was so much to learn and so very little time. I hoped against hope that I'd be appointed to serve on the Education Committee, since so that's all I've ever known my adult life. In another moment of magic, I found out that indeed I was to serve on the Education Committee. I was happy, I was so happy actually, I walked up kind of out of protocol, walked straight up to the Speaker of the House and I said, Mr. Speaker, I just wanna say thank you so very much. And the moments just kept happening and when I found, I found out that there were eight of us on the cover of Time Magazine. I'm a high school science teacher from the city of Virginia Beach and on January 29th, 2018, my face was on the cover of Time Magazine. So I'm officially one of the Avengers. And if you're a Thor fan, just so you know, my daughter's name is Ellison, and Ellie's mom, I mean, Ellison is the son of Thor, so really, I'm the grandmother to Thor. Just throwing that out there. The moment I just shared was very humbling for me. I am thankful every day for the opportunity to represent my constituents in the oldest continuous democratic body in the Western Hemisphere. Next year, the General Assembly will celebrate its 400th anniversary. I am truly, truly blessed. I share my life adventures with you so that you understand if you follow your passions, 
You can achieve what you dream. And congratulations to Tidewater Community College, Class of 2018.